Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. So today we're going to be showing you how to edit your podcast from start to finish with the Libsyn editor. Now normally you would have to have an audio editor like Adobe Audition or Audacity, uh, but uh, Libsyn, which is a podcast hosting service, now provides something called the Libsyn editor. So, or studio, Lipson Studio. Uh, and then if we go up here and we go new, we can see build with studio where, you know, before it was upload audio. And then there's another one here called connect call. But now we see one that says build with studio. If you want to know how to publish your podcast on Lipson and how all of that works, I have a full video tutorial that I will link below showing you how to do that. So I'm assuming that you already have Lipson, you, you have a podcast on Lipson and you're wanting to uh, try out the studio to edit your podcast so you can do it all in one place. So what you're going to want to do is log into Libsyn, go ahead and go to your uh, podcast page, with, uh, which I have mine here, and then go to the Episodes tab at the very top. Once we are here, we want to go to the New button in the right-hand corner of the page, and then the option that we want to select says Build with Studio. When we click on Build with Studio, we can see that automatically Libsyn wants to have access to our microphone. So you can see uh, Libsyn Studio wants to access your microphone. I'm going to go ahead and click Allow. Now, if you run into the problem here where you see an error, you can click on the microphone above. You can see where it's turned off. You can actually go and click on that and go to Open Preferences, and it may take you to your preferences here. And you may have to go and select like Google Chrome or whatever you're using, uh, and then basically that will allow it to use your microphone, right? So make sure if you need to go into settings and do it that way. Now, I'm not going to connect my microphone just because I don't want it to interfere with the recording of this tutorial, but you do want to go ahead and allow it access to your microphone, okay? Next, at the very top, we're going to see something that says untitled and then a pencil icon next to it. This allows us to, you know, basically... Um, edit the title of the podcast episode itself. So go ahead and give your podcast episode a very catchy title. Once you've typed in your title here, go to update. And as you can see, you now have the name of your podcast episode at the very top. You can click the pencil icon at any time to go back and edit or revise that title that you just uh, gave to your episode. And then we're going to see a couple of things here down below. We're going to see chapters. Now, what are chapters? Chapters are individual audio sections of your podcast episode drag to rearrange. Uh, and then you can also click on tips here to see kind of what Libsyn uh, recommends. Now, we have a teaser, we have an intro, we have an opener, a main chapter. All of these things are what Libsyn thinks is a good template for a podcast episode, okay? So for the teaser here, we can go and we can drag that down below. Okay, we can drag that down below. Uh, we can move these if we want to. And then if we wanted to, we could even select the trash can icon to remove that and go to yes, remove that as well. Now, when you're ready, you can go and you can see that when you have one of these selected, okay, you go over here and go to create intro. Now, as far as this goes, I don't have the microphone connected, so it's not going to show you here. But basically, if you have a microphone connected, it will give you the option to record the intro directly here within the Libsyn Studio app. Now, another option is to upload your own audio, which is what we are going to go with today. So I'm going to go to upload your own audio. I'm clicking this button here, and then I have some audio here that I want to select, and then I go and e either double-click that or go and select it and click open. And once I do that, you can see here that it's uploading that audio. Now, this is only going to be my intro. This is going to be kind of how Lipson breaks it down into chapters. If you don't want to mess with the whole chapters thing, you can just delete all of them but one and just call it like main segment and then just upload your audio that way. That's probably the easiest and best way for me to explain that to you uh, as far as the way they do uh, their chapters. Now, depending on the size of the audio, it may take a little longer uh, to upload that audio, but I'm going to go ahead and fast forward now once the audio is uploaded. All right, once you've either recorded or uploaded your audio, you're going to see that file over here on the right-hand side uh, where it says the name of the audio, the type of file format that it is. You even have a play button and a playhead where you can fast forward or rewind by clicking and holding and dragging just to check that's what you want it to be. Uh, also, you have the ability to download directly from Libsyn once you've uploaded, uploaded it, and you can even select the trash can icon here to delete said audio, whether you have recorded 
or you have uploaded something that you've already pre-recorded. Next down below that, I love this feature. Uh, you can see something that says background music. Uh, if you click on the drop down menu here, you're going to see a list of copyright free music that Lipson provides you. And if you want to, you can just select uh, the song of choice, uh, or you could even upload your own music just like you uploaded your own audio. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to select the drop down menu and go to no music just again, to make things simpler uh, for the uh, tutorial that we're doing here. Now, once you're done with this segment, if you've you know broken it down into multiple chapters, you want to click the green link here that says back to episode. And once we do so, you can see now the intro has a check mark beside it because it has been completed and you actually have audio there. Now, if we go here and we select into a different section or segment of the podcast, you can see that it doesn't have a check mark, meaning that there is no audio there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just remove all of the other segments just to, for simplicity's sake. Obviously, if you want to follow these templates that Lipson provides you, again, if you're new to podcasting, this may actually be a good way of segmenting and kind of breaking out or down your podcast as you go. So we're going to go ahead and go here and remove these, and I'll come back to you in a second. All right, so what I've done is just removed all of the different chapters except for my main intro here just to kind of show you how that works. If you want to, you can even go into intro notes and basically you can select into that segment and edit those if you would like to. You can always play back the audio here. Now, once you're done, you can do a couple of things. You can either save as a draft, so you can save as a draft here, or you can go to next review. So what I'm gonna do is go to next review uh, to get to the next version or area of the editor. Now, review and finalize your episode. This is where you can review and finalize. Now, if you're done, if you like what you hear, everything sounds good, uh, you go to finalize episode and it takes you to the next phase or step in the process. If you want to edit and you don't like what you hear, you click the edit button here uh, and then you can go back to this bit here and you can listen back to the audio to edit and remove things and change things around. But we're gonna go ahead and go to next review and then we're going to go to finalize episode. Once we have clicked finalize episode, it will take a few seconds or minutes, uh, depending on the size of the audio, to process that audio and it will take you to the kind of end section of the tutorial. So let's go ahead and fast forward that now. All right, and something I didn't mention now that it's done processing here, um, you can see if you have multiple chapters, you can actually jump to the timestamp of when those chapters kind of start and end here below where you see these chapter lists below. But one of the things that Libsyn does is when you uh, basically upload your audio and begin to process it, it actually finalizes the episode and it stitches the chapters together, but it also, also automatically improves the sound quality. Uh, now, it's not going to remove like if a train's going in the background or a, a, a car's laying down on the horn, but it will remove that kind of white noise that you hear in the background. It'll make your voice sound more vibrant. It, I, I have put audio into this editor and seen it on the other side and can tell you that it does indeed improve the overall audio quality. And so that to me is wonderful. And that's only going to get better. Now, once you've done this, you have your audio episode content chap chapters stitched together here. We then want to go to details. So click the green button again that says details or next up here. And it's going to take us to the information where we can insert all of our metadata. Remember, Libsyn is an audio host. And so now that we've edited the audio here, we now want to go and add our metadata like title, description, uh, episode number, season number, uh, and the different things that will make sure folks can find our episode. Now, with anything within the Libsyn Studio, you can actually go back here. You can see our audio at the very top here. We'll have this option here that says edit in studio. If we click that button, it will just take us back to the studio where we can make more changes and edit and remove different audio bits if we found once we've got to this point that we've made a mistake. Now, you'll probably recognize this area here if you have been using Libsyn for a while. If you have not, this is where when you upload an episode yourself, say you edited it in another software somewhere, this is where you would upload the audio and this would be the point where it would take you to, right? So now at this point, all you have to do is insert all of your metadata like you see here in one of my previous episodes like title, description, uh, Apple podcast title, season and episode number, author, uh, different tags here. And then when you're ready to publish, you scroll to the very bottom where you see publish episode. You can actually select the drop down menu and you can either immediately publish like right now currently or you can schedule the episode by clicking schedule episode and set a start date and time and then just click the green publish button and whether you scheduled or uploaded it now, it will go ahead and go into the feed and you are good to go. Now, 
As far as everything else within Libsyn, I do have more tutorials. I would search my channel for those. But that is how you use the Libsyn Studio Editor to make sure that you edit your audio uh, into a point to where you don't even need any outside software to use. And that's it. That's the end of the tutorial. If you have any questions about how to do anything that you have seen here in the video, please put those in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if this video helped you out. And I will see you guys in the next video.